I've been spending the last three years of my life in a constant state of waiting, waiting for the toddler stage to be over, waiting for my pregnancy to be over, waiting to be happy. I'm done with waiting and I'm choosing to make choices to support my mental health, just like the choice I made to use CDS1 Daily Symbiotic to support my gut health, but more on that later. Specifically, I've been putting off this bathroom and making it make sense for us because we're eventually going to renovate it. The key word is eventually because it's been two years and we don't really have a set date yet and I'm frustrated every time I come in here, so I'm trying to resolve that. I'm not going to wait till we renovate to not be upset being in this room. You guys know that I already started this declutter process in my closet and that has already made a big impact on my mental health. I can go into my closet, know what I have, know what I want, and walk out without a fuss. And it's the little things like that when I'm an overstimulated mom that really do make me feel better. I've since learned that overstimulation is a huge part of where my anger is coming from. Like I've previously said, I thought that I was just hormonal from postpartum, which I probably still am and from breastfeeding, but I'm a lot more aware of my overstimulation now and how I can be so fine and happy and one little thing sets me off and I'm immediately angry. That's not healthy. <laughs> and getting rid of the extra stuff in my house does help reduce the overstimulation because I'm at least not overstimulated by my environment, just by my children. <laughs> One of you commented on my last video about how in gentle parenting we work so hard to regulate our emotions and kind of shove down the frustrations so we can be our best selves for our children, but those emotions still exist. Like it can be very frustrating parenting toddlers, right? And so they will come back up or at least for myself and a lot of other people we find that it comes back up. And specifically this person said that our partners are typically the people we can quote unquote be angry at, like we're allowed to be angry at them in comparison to our children, I guess. And I really resonated with that. Not that I ever want to be angry with Josh, but I'm allowed to be angry at him if it's valid, you know, but a lot of these things are not valid. Now that I'm aware of that, it is helping me realize that I am just exploding my emotions at him and it does have nothing to do with him. I've been focusing on these moments where I feel the outbursts coming and I found that, you know, my body's really tense. I feel like punching something, which is not a feeling I'm used to having. I've never been like an outwardly physical person, I guess. But you know, that's what happens in motherhood, apparently. I mentioned in my last vlog that the softball season has really helped me in learning that physical exertion helps counter my frustrations because I'm getting the frustrations out physically, right? So I had those softball tournaments and I was, you know, hitting balls, jumping around, throwing things, sliding, like all my emotions were out on the field. <laughs> the ball season is over and so that's done, but at least I've learned that staying active does make me a better mom and wife. So I'm trying to keep this momentum going because I'm in a pretty good mental state lately and Josh has mentioned that I'm not so angry, he's not tiptoeing around me as much, he's more comfortable, I've been more happy. I will definitely have little moments of overstimulation here and there, but I usually just like try and uh, minimize what's stimulating me, like turn off the music, turn off a hood fan, you know, do what I can, but it hasn't been as bad as it was. Like I said, I'm trying to keep that momentum going, so I'm going on daily walks, which you know, I've been told a lot to go on walks, but I find it's hard to do when you're sad to like get yourself up and out for a walk. I usually would come back home still sad, but now that I'm in a good place, I really do appreciate these walks. And like I said, it's getting a little bit of energy out. Not as good as if I were to like go to the gym, but I'm not a gym person. And I know that's an excuse, but I wanna go do something active and fun. <laughs> I don't wanna just work out. I may change my mind on that, but that's how I feel right now. So I actually decided that I'm going to be once a week going to the climbing gym, um, indoor bouldering. I used to do this years ago with Josh and it was a lot of fun, but you know, life happens and I haven't done it since. I think this will be a good option because obviously it's active. It's very like physically demanding. I'm planning on making friends, that's a goal. So I'm checking off all those boxes that softball was giving me. It's something that you can do all winter long. So it is expensive, but 
I'm gonna try and cut costs elsewhere to make it make sense because I do feel like this is so important to me. So I'll let you know how that's going. And before I move on to talking about the decluttering that I'm doing, I do wanna talk about today's sponsor, Seeds DS1 Daily Symbiotic. This year has been a year of prioritizing my physical health, which does include taking a daily symbiotic. DS1 is a two-in-one capsule in capsule prebiotic and probiotic with 24 clinically and scientifically probiotic strains and polyphenol-based probiotic to support systemic health. The two-in-one via cap delivery technology protects against stomach acid, digestion enzymes, and bile salts for viability through digestion. This means that 100% of the live probiotics will actually make it to the end of the small intestine for delivery into the colon. The outer capsule contains the prebiotic and serves as a barrier to oxygen, moisture, and heat, so there's no refrigeration necessary. The inner capsule contains the probiotic, which is a proprietary formulation comprised of clinically and scientifically studied strains. It's formulated for benefits in and beyond the gut, so the strains support ease of bloating, healthy gut function, healthy gut immune system, heart health, and healthy skin. I started taking DS1 a few months after having Finn because my digestion was feeling super off from postpartum. My body felt out of sync and just upset with itself, so I chose to seek out some probiotics. DS1 is a whole body experience that supports ease of bloating and healthy regularity, which is why I choose to take it every day. I've been taking DS1 for almost a year now, long enough to really feel the benefits on my health. And it's remarkable the difference I feel. I'm truly impressed with DS1. I also find it no problem to remember to take every day because of how off I know I'll feel if I skip it. I like to take it at night just because if I try and do it in the morning, I'm usually waking up to the chaos of the children calling for me and it's hard for me to do it in that chaos. So I like to take it right before bed. Click my link below and use my code EMBERSASH to get 20% off your first month's supply of Seeds DS1 Daily Symbiotic and you'll get free shipping. Thank you to Seed for sponsoring today's video. Now let's talk about what I'm doing here. So my little area of the cabinet feels very chaotic because I have just these baskets that I was storing everything in because that's what worked at our last place. With the height of my cubby, I guess you could call it, it doesn't make sense. Everything was super cluttered so I got these storage bins off Amazon and they're gonna help me stay on top of all my things. <laughs> I also did have a lot of stuff to get rid of, like a million Invisalign trays that I've been hoarding. Who knows why? I'm not ever gonna put those in my mouth again. And then Josh's shelf, he already decluttered that a while ago. Um, the next shelf up just had some baby stuff and I don't know, there's a lot of random things, not a lot of organization. And I figured I would change this shelf to be our um, medicine cabinet shelf because all of our medicine is in a drawer currently, which you know, we have two young kids. I would rather not risk an incident. Don't know why I haven't thought of this earlier, but I'm gonna move all the medicine out of reach. So in this drawer, I kept all of our like toothpaste and floss and toothbrushes and added the baby stuff that I don't mind if the kids reach for. This basket definitely does not work very well for all the medicine. It's way overfilled, but it's all I had right now. And I figured might as well shove it all in there for now and find a solution later. The shelf above it, again, lots of just random stuff, more trays, some grout paint, a bunch of towels I forgot we had. So I've actually, well, I didn't forget. I knew I had them. I just didn't know where they were. So glad to have those. And then under the sink was a bit stressful as well. Here I mostly just organized all of our towels. I had way too many bottles of cleaner. <laughs> And then I also put the kids' bath toys in there. This is when I realized I could switch the medicine stuff into this basket because it's a little bit bigger and that definitely worked. I also nearly forgot about the shower area. I have these glass bottles from I think when we moved in and it's just not practical enough for me to refill them whenever I run out and our bathroom isn't aesthetic enough for me to care. So I'm getting rid of those, consolidating everything onto the shower rack so that the window isn't obstructed. And I definitely have noticed a difference already in the livability of this bathroom. I just feel better being in here even though it's not renovated, you know, I don't need a renovated bathroom for it to be functional and serve 
serve our family and now I feel like it actually can serve us. This is all the stuff that I ended up getting rid of, a lot of expired uh, medicine and random odds and ends, a lot of garbage. So thank you guys so much for watching, following this declutter. I will be moving on to even more spaces in that house because I, again, feel really good having our space simplified. And make sure to check out the link in the description for Seed's DS1 Daily Symbiotic and getting that 20% off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.